Ursa glass wool thermal insulation is the right choice for the insulation of ventilated facades due to its excellent thermal insulation, sound protection, fire resistance, and water repellent properties. The elasticity of the material ensures great adaptability, simple installation, and makes this product highly suitable for the insulation of buildings with uneven external walls. Soft and flexible insulation seal joints perfectly and easily fit in the supporting sub-construction elements. The ventilated facade systems are one of the most functional and aesthetic solutions. The building has a tight thermal insulation coating additionally faced with a glass veil protective layer preventing the access of cold air and dust particles to the insulation as well as eventual rainwater intrusion. The glass veil facing can optionally be delivered in the colors white, yellow or black. The ventilated facade enables the water vapor that has gathered in the building to pass through the walls and thermal insulation into a ventilation channel and evaporate in the environment. Ensuring the inflow of fresh air on the lower side of the facade is of the utmost importance to making the ventilation channel work properly. A buoyancy then forces the air to travel through the ventilation channel all the way to the top of the facade and exit through the upper opening of the channel. The final facade layer protects both thermal insulation and the wall against weather conditions. In case of eventual rainwater intrusion, the water is stopped at the glass veil facing surface while the hydrophobic properties of the thermal insulation prevent the worsening of thermal and mechanical properties. The rainwater then simply drains down from the thermal insulation surface or evaporates through the ventilation channel. One of the ventilated facade's major advantages is that the ventilation channel conveys hot air in summer periods and cools down the thermal insulation and walls, thus creating much more agreeable living conditions during the summer. Different materials may be chosen for the final facade layer, such as glass, wood, stone, synthetic fiberboards, and different metal sheets. Glass wool is an excellent choice for the ventilated facade insulation since its extremely low weight ensures quick and simple handling and enables efficient installation even to a single worker. Our products Ursa FDP 2-V and Ursa FDP 3-V are used for ventilated facade applications. The work begins by marking the desired horizontal and vertical sections on the wall. Steel point L profiles are then fastened with anchor bolts and vertical aluminum profiles are temporarily attached to them. The levelness of the facade sub-construction is always checked with rivets before the final fastening of the profiles. A suitable sub-construction is prepared for the installation of doors and windows around the openings. An insulation board is placed against the wall and a hole is drilled for the insertion of a plastic anchor approximately 5 centimeters from the board edge. Too deep drilling may cause insulation board deformation. The anchor is placed in the hole, a plastic or metal core is inserted and hit by a hammer for a final fixing. The same procedure follows for the rest of the anchors. Every insulation board has to be fixed with five plastic anchors. The following insulation board is then carefully placed tightly next to the other. When cutting the insulation boards into smaller pieces to adapt them to the openings, we have to add one additional centimeter to the measured dimensions to ensure a good placement between other boards or construction elements. The insulation boards at the edge of the building have to be shifted alternatively in the manner of brick bond to ensure tightness and to avoid linear thermal bridges. Windows are installed on the steel L profiles, which were previously fixed to the external edge of the window opening. The horizontal levelness of the sub-construction has to be checked prior to installation. A window frame is then inserted, leveled and fixed with screws. 
a sealant is applied to the well-cleaned wall surface, and the window frame and waterproof membrane is pasted, which prevents the intrusion of rainwater into the building. All joints of the membrane and walls, window frames, and those between the membranes must be pasted very carefully and tightly. The lower edge of the final facade board is hooked on the auxiliary fixing elements, which were previously fixed to the subconstruction, and the upper edge of the board is fixed on the subconstruction, together with auxiliary fixing elements for the next line of facade boards. Facade boards have to be properly hooked on the lower side and thoroughly fixed on the upper edge, since they have to resist pull-out forces in strong wind conditions. Great care must be taken to ensure the proper distance and levelness of each separate board. The proper distance is ensured by the insertion of temporary spacers. The same procedure applies for the final facade layer at the edge of the building. An adhesive is applied to the previously installed window frame subconstruction. A prepared window border element is pasted on the subconstruction and additionally secured with rivets on the upper and lower edge. When the final facade layer is finished, these rivets will be hidden under the window ledge and blind. The next step is the application of the adhesive to the prepared subconstruction for the window ledge. The window ledge is placed tightly to the window frame and secured with screws. The blind is inserted in the prepared opening above the window and quickly secured with click fasteners. A proper operation of blinds must always be tested afterwards. A proper installation of the entire ventilation layer is of crucial importance for the proper operation of the ventilated facade. A ventilation grill strip is attached at the lower edge of the ventilated facade to prevent the access of animals and to ensure the inflow of fresh air, which is conveyed by the buoyancy-driven air venting system along the thermal insulation to the exit points at the very top of the facade and under the window ledges. A ventilation grill is hooked on the final facade layer and riveted to the panoramic wall. A proper finishing of the upper ventilated facade part starts by coating all sides of the parapet wall with thermal insulation. The subconstruction for the groundwork which carries the final facade cap is made. The design of the facade cap enables the undisturbed exit of internal air from the ventilation layer and at the same time prevents the intrusion of rainwater which might soak the thermal insulation of the building. The Ursa glass wool thermal insulation ventilated facade prevents the overheating of the building's walls, insulation condensation, and offers excellent fire resistance properties. Ursa glass wool ensures hydrophobic properties, excellent thermal and sound insulation, and adaptability, simple and quick handling. Without a doubt, Ursa glass wool insulation is the right choice to ensure comfort and the excellent protection of your building.